Just hours ago, the Secret Service spoke in their first news conference since former President Trump's assassination attempt. It comes as we are getting the autopsy results on the shooter. Oliviana Calmes is live in Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. Oliviana, first, uh, what does that autopsy show? Scott Dane, the autopsy is pretty clear cut. It shows that he died of a gunshot wound to the head. A Secret Service sniper fired the shot that killed him just moments after he shot at former President Donald Trump. But today, we're having a hearing with the Secret Service, and reporters asked questions about the failures that day, and they were able to provide some answers. Acting Director Ronald Rowe says no state or local agency supporting the Secret Service that day should be held responsible, even though this week, Law enforcement pushed back, local law enforcement that is, thinking he had shifted blame their way. Today, he also provided a timeline of July 13th. And as far as uh, if anyone has been or will be fired, Rowe said he's commissioned a task force to look into it. That mission assurance review is looking into if there were policy violations. At that point now, if in fact there were policy violations, at that point now it'll go into a parallel path of a disciplinary type of investigation. And if in fact there were policy violations and they are substantiated, those employees will be held accountable. Rowe also answered questions about the lack of radio communication between Butler and Beaver County and the Secret Service. He said it needs a big fix. It was so apparent to me that in this incident, uh, in the final 30 seconds, which has been the focus of what happened before the assailant opened fire. There was clearly radio transmissions that may have happened on that local radio net that we did not have. Uh, and so we have to do a better job of co-locating, leveraging that counterpart system, and this is going to drive our operations going forward. Now, we know there was no Secret Service drone there that day. And when asked about that and why they didn't accept an offer from the local department's drone, he said that the mission uh, task force will take a look into that, too. But in the meantime, he's going to require a Secret Service drone at any sites going forward. In Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, Oliviana Calmes, Fox 32, Chicago.